Welcome, brave chess warriors, to a realm where minds clash and strategies unfold. I am your guide, the herald of the board, here to immerse you in a world of epic battles and tactical brilliance. Prepare to witness the dance of kings and queens, as we delve into the enchanting realm of chess. In this mystical realm, every move holds the power to shape destinies, and every decision is a step towards victory or defeat. Join me on this extraordinary journey, as we explore the realms of imagination, intellect, and the boundless potential of the 64 squares. Today, we have two players, Ikwen underscore Nazir and Alabama88, competing in a thrilling battle of wits and strategy. Let's dive into the game and analyze their moves, as they showcase their skills and tactical acumen. The game started with the moves. 1. E4 E5 2. Nf3 Nc6 3. Nc3 Bc5. We see the classic three knights opening on the board. Both players start by developing their knights and controlling the center. However, black's move, Bc5, is a bit unusual and not the most common choice. Instead, Nf6 is generally considered more accurate, aiming for a solid central presence. The Giwako Piano game is a classic chess opening that dates back centuries. It is known for its strategic depth, harmonious piece development, and potential for aggressive play. Let's delve into the moves and ideas behind this opening. 1. E4 E5 The opening begins symmetrically, with both players staking their claim in the center by advancing their respective pawn to E5. This move establishes a solid foundation and opens lines for the bishops and queen. 2. Nf3 Nc6 Now, white develops their knight to f3, aiming to control the central squares and preparing for further development. Black mirrors the move by developing their knight to c6, following a similar strategy. 3. Bc4 This move marks the start of the Giwako piano. White's light squared bishop moves to c4, establishing a powerful presence along the long diagonal. The bishop eyes the f7 square, which is one of black's weak points in the early game. The Giwako piano can be loosely translated from Italian as the quiet game, or the quiet bishop game. It emphasizes solid and harmonious piece development rather than immediate tactical strikes. White's plan typically involves reinforcing their control over the center, preparing to castle, and creating potential threats against Black's king. 4. Nc3. In response to Black's symmetric development, White chooses to develop their knight to c3. This move prepares to strengthen the d4 square and supports the central pawn on e4. White's setup with pawns on e4 and c3 forms a strong pawn center that restricts Black's peace activity and lays the groundwork for future pawn breaks and central control. The Giwako Piano is a versatile opening, allowing players to choose from various plans depending on the position and their playing style. White can opt for a slow build-up, focusing on reinforcing the center and gradually improving peace coordination. Alternatively, they can initiate aggressive maneuvers with moves like d2 d4 or f2 f4, aiming to disrupt Black's pawn structure and launch an attack on the king side. Black has multiple options as well. They can continue mirroring White's moves with moves like nf6, preparing to challenge the white pawn center. Another option is to break symmetry by playing d7 d5, aiming for counterplay in the center. The Giwako piano has been played by numerous grandmasters throughout history and remains a popular choice at all levels of chess. Its strategic elements, balanced play, and potential for tactical fireworks make it an intriguing opening to study and include in your repertoire. Remember, understanding the opening principles, piece development, and pawn structure is crucial to navigate the Giwako piano successfully. Continue to the game. 4. BC 4 H 6 5 d3 nf6 6 d 6 7 b3 bg4 here black makes another slightly questionable move bg4 seems like a good idea to pin the knight on f3 and potentially create weaknesses in white's pawn structure however capturing on e3 bx e3 would have been a stronger move as it would have doubled white's pawns and given black more control over the center 8 h3 bx f3 9 Qx f3 and 4 black takes the opportunity to exploit the pin on the knight, attacking the e3 pawn. However, white captures on d4, establishing a strong outpost for the knight. 10. Bx d4 bx d4 11. End 5 bx b2 12. 
Rab 1 BD4 The position is quite tense now. Black's aggressive play has led to material imbalances, with both players having won and lost pawns. White's knight on d5 is well placed, exerting pressure on black's position. However, white missed a chance to play nxf6, which would have disrupted black's coordination. 13. c3. c6. White continues with a slightly inaccurate move, allowing black to capture on c3. However, black fails to seize the opportunity to play nxf6 and maintain the advantage. The position remains dynamically balanced. 14. B flat 3 C X D 5 15. NE 3 Q E 7. Black misses the chance to play H5, which would have created counterplay against White's kingside. Instead, Q E 7 is played, which seems passive and allows White to consolidate their position. 16. N F 5 Q F 8 17. C4. A blunder by White. Playing D4 instead would have solidified their central control and restricted Black's pieces. The move c4 weakens white's pawn structure and allows black to gain counterplay. 17. Ooo black castles queenside, furthering their king's safety and preparing for potential pawn breaks. The position becomes highly tactical, with both kings positioned on opposite wings. 18. a4 d5, a critical mistake by black. Instead of playing d5, which opens up lines for white's pieces, a better move would have been n7, reinforcing the central position and keeping the balance. 19. e x d5 c x d5 20. c5, white continues to push their pawns, but a5 would have been a stronger move, creating a potential outpost for the knight. Nevertheless, the position remains complex and unclear. 20. b x c5 21. RFC 1 and 7, a blunder by black. Playing KB8 would have been a stronger move, consolidating the king's safety. The move N7 allows white to exploit the vulnerable black position. 22. QXD5, KB8 white misses the opportunity to play BD1, keeping the pressure on black's position. Instead, white decides to grab another pawn, which complicates the position even further. 23. QE4, NF6 24. QXE5 BD6 25. NXD6, RXD6. Both players make inaccuracies in the position. White had a strong move with QA5, which would have exposed Black's king. Black also errs with RXD6, allowing the game to shift in White's favor. 26. A5 N7 27. QF4 G5 28. QE4 NF6. A crucial mistake by Black. Instead of playing NF6, the move NB6 would have offered a more resilient defense. With this blunder, the game takes a decisive turn in White's favor. 29. QF3 QD8. 30. BXF7 Road 3. 31. QXB7 and it's a checkmate. White delivers a beautiful final blow with QXB7, exploiting Black's weakened king's position and achieving a decisive victory. In this game, we witnessed a series of tactical and strategic maneuvers, with both players fighting for control and opportunities. It is essential to note the importance of pawn breaks, king activity, and peace coordination in the endgame. In the end, it was Ikwan underscore Nazir who demonstrated exceptional endgame technique, capitalizing on their opponent's mistakes and delivering a devastating checkmate. This game serves as a reminder of the importance of maintaining positional harmony, avoiding tactical pitfalls, and capitalizing on opportunities as they arise. Lesson from the game. There are a few key lessons we can extract from this encounter. Lesson 1. Respect opening principles. In the early moves, black deviated from opening principles with moves like 3, bc5 and 7, bg4. It's crucial to prioritize development, control of the center, and harmonious peace coordination in the opening phase. Lesson 2. Evaluate captures and threats. Moves like 4, bc4 and 13, c3, which were inaccuracies, missed tactical opportunities such as capturing on e5 and f6, respectively. Before making moves, always evaluate potential captures and threats to exploit weaknesses in your opponent's position. Lesson 3. Be mindful of peace activity. Black's decision to exchange the light squared bishop for a knight with 8, bxf3 allowed white to develop their knight to a strong central outpost on d5. 
Avoid exchanging active pieces for passive ones without a clear strategic justification. Lesson 4. Calculate tactical possibilities. Both players miss tactical shots throughout the game. For instance, black could have played 18, n7, counter-attacking the white queen and gaining an advantage. Calculating tactical possibilities is crucial to avoid blunders and exploit your opponent's weaknesses. Lesson 5. Don't neglect king safety. White's move 17. c4 allowed black to launch a strong attack with 17. Oh, 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 targeting the exposed white king. Safeguarding your king's safety should always be a priority, especially in the middle game when peace activity increases. Lesson 6. Checkmate awareness. Towards the end of the game, both players missed opportunities to deliver checkmate. White could have executed a false checkmate sequence with 29. QXB7 KXB730. BD5 car 631. BC4 KXR532. RB5 car 433. Ra 1. Similarly, Black missed a false checkmate with 28. NB629. AXB6 RXB630. QE5 car 831. BXF7 QB832. QA1 RC833. RXB6 RXC134. QXC1 AXB635. BD5. Remember, even in games with mistakes, there are valuable lessons to be learned. By studying and understanding these lessons, you can improve your chess skills and avoid similar pitfalls in your own games. As the dust settles and the final moves are made, we emerge from the chessboard's enchanting embrace. But our quest does not end here, dear viewers. If you have experienced your own epic duels on the battlefield of chess, I invite you to share your conquests with us. Unleash your games upon the vast tapestry of knowledge, and let us unravel the hidden depths of your strategic triumphs. If you seek guidance, analysis, or simply wish to bask in the glory of your hard-fought battles, submit your games for our keen eye to dissect and illuminate. Remember, warriors of the chessboard, your tales are worthy of celebration and study. Let us embark on this journey together, forging a community united by our love for this timeless game. Share your games with us, and let us delve into the realms of chess mastery. Until our next encounter, may your moves be bold, your strategies cunning, and your victories legendary. Farewell, fellow adventurers, and may the chess gods smile upon your endeavors.